Just for the record, me trying to fillet that largemouth bass. Probably not how it's supposed to be done. Saw a lot of people doing this with live fish, and I thought that was just cruel. I don't know, maybe I'm missing something, but I don't think there's any need to do it while the fish is still alive. Sharper knives would clearly be good though. I don't even know if I'm getting through this. I'm just hacking away at this thing. I think it froze in my fridge. I'm going to lose so much meat on this, I clearly need to invest in a better knife. Well, it looks like everybody else is doing big strokes, but little strokes seems to work for me. Alright, that's just skin there. You can feel some small bones in there. Clearly I did a horrible job with this. I have to say though, the skin on this bass is incredibly sturdy. I'm just gonna put the rest of this guy aside for a second. See if I can get that skin off like Buddy showed. A little tiny piece of meat I salvaged from that. That's terrible. Well, it's a fish fillet, <laughs> not a great one. And take another cut at that, see if I can get some of that off of there too. I'm gonna go with no, I've clearly botched and butchered that one and not in the professional butcher kind of way. All right, I'm gonna have another go at this on the other side of this poor unfortunate bass. I only call it poor and unfortunate because it's being, you know, cleaned by me. And, uh, you know, I clearly don't have a clue. Sadly, this is all the usable meat I got out of that fish who sacrificed himself for me. But that was his choice. Caught him twice. Catch you once. Catch and release. Catch you twice. Your food. 
guess that was his destiny. Got a nice heavy skillet here. I'm just going to start melting up some butter. Maybe a little bit more. Got some powdered ginger. Doesn't want to open. Just one a little bit. Love the flavor of ginger in just about everything. Some onion flakes for the same reason. Lots of onion flakes apparently for the same reason. And I've got it's just some of the dried peppers from last year. Because everything's better with pepper. While that's getting nice and warm, I'm going to prepare a very basic breading. A little bit of flour, some black pepper, and hope it stays on. Ooh, some dill. That might be nice. And I need to find the black pepper. Give that a light mixing so it's kind of evenly distributed through there. Plop my fish onto that, press it down, hope it sticks. Seems to be sticking fairly nicely, so that's good. Mmm, that butter and onion and pepper starting to smell pretty good. Onion flakes are a little bit toasted. That's just how I like that. All right, I'm gonna put a lid on that. Let it cook for a couple minutes. On second thought, you know, I'm going to take the lid off of that and turn it up just a bit. I enjoy the sound of sizzle when I'm making food. Now these are just little pieces of meat, so I don't imagine they're going to take too terribly long. Cook through. Kind of looks like that breading was a bit of a waste of time. That is looking like some nice and tender fish. I gotta say, the smell's pretty good too. It is definitely a shame that I did such a poor job filleting that fish. Got a funny feeling I'm going to really, really enjoy this. Turn that down a little bit while it finishes off. Now they say you can tell when fish is fully cooked because it's all turned white, but this was pretty white to begin with. Mmm. Well, it might lose some of its delicacy, but I'm going to err on the side of caution, cook this for another couple of minutes, and then we'll taste it. I think for one last touch, 
I like to candy most of my meats, so I'll use maple syrup or honey when it's available, just to add a certain sweetness to it. Ah, uh, look at that bubble. Almost makes me wish I made some rice to put this on. But this isn't about making a meal, this is about trying the fish. Alright, well here we are. I've got my extra little bit of sauce on the side there. A nice handy heel of bread to help dispose of that. Let's give this fish a try. Well, it doesn't smell terribly fishy. That's always good. Okay, that's really good. Um, it is a crime against food that I wasted so much of that meat on that fish. This is really good. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm going to finish this up, and I'm pretty sure you don't want to see that. But, I hope um, you were at least entertained by this somewhat. Uh, I realized, like I say, it was a crime against fish, a crime against food, what I did to that thing, trying to fillet it. But if practice makes perfect, then the first time you do something in 20 years is probably not going to be the best time you've ever done it. And uh, come to think of it, I don't think I ever filleted anything as a kid either. So, until next time, go play outside, but remember, play safe. Hey, try something new. Mmm, this really is amazing. I'm going to have to watch this again, just so I know for sure what I put in with that butter. But this is so good. Big Bear done good.